quickie question, guys. What if, what if I was right and the water wasn't good for him? What if I was right, guys? What if I was right and the water was bad for him, Ernie Shell? What if I was right? Just what if? Just say, okay? Now, I had nothing to go by except for him and his words because he was the one making the video and drinking the water, which I never saw. I tuned in after his last sip, I guess, because he said everybody kept telling him to drink it and then he drinks it, which I missed. And then he said, it doesn't taste good. It's making it seems like it's making it worse. So I said, don't drink it. Don't drink it. And I, I'm some, I must have said at one point, the poisoned, maybe they poisoned the water. Then everybody jumps down my throat. Well, maybe they did. What if they did? Okay, people poison things. Have you ever been poisoned? Because I've been poisoned. I was poisoned twice. And it was very specific. And I know that I was poisoned. And I know who did it. And they were two different women, at least, that did the, gave me the poison. That bitch. Both of them. One of them I knew hate me, but the other one tried to be my friend. But you know who could tell was my youngest daughter. She always could tell who was and wasn't my friend. You know, my kids have really, really good instincts. And I trust them. And I never went against them when it came. When they were growing up, if they didn't like someone, I did not have that person over and they had to approve of the men in my life um, growing up because I would never have a cows. I would never have somebody they didn't like. The cows, my life was devoted to them and my relationship with them and being close to them and growing up, growing them up with a very, very tuned in, very close, giving them someone to talk to, to could, would accept anything, someone that they could trust, that they could tell anything to, that we could process everything. And um, I did have a very open uh, relationship with my children. Even when they tried to keep secrets from me, they always end up telling me everything because every, everybody does. Cows, everybody does. Um, everybody tells me the truth when they're around me. That's why I think my brother j runs away from me. He didn't used to, but he does now. And I think he's covering up stuff because there's no reason for him to run away from me like that. All of a sudden, he's like picking a fight and running off. It's really weird. Yeah, the, the, we are adults. We're adults, people. You know, we're on YouTube looking for information, looking for companionship, looking for music. I didn't know you could have live friends and friendships and active conversations um, like you can now on these YouTube channels. You know, it's on YouTube. They can You can do it on Rumble. You can do it probably on Vimeo as well. You can do it other places, just that we call it YouTube and YouTubers because that's where it was first. Um, and YouTube becomes this thing where it's like a place where people, regular people store their work. But then, of course, it got taken over by the CCP, the Chinese Communist. What? Partey. And uh, who owns TikTok, which is a big... What? Trafficking? Not again. Trafficking. Oh, God. I, I said on Daisy's channel, Auntie Daisy over at the farm with the crazy critters, where it's, it's, she, they like me. They like me over there. She likes me. The guy that she's up there with likes me. He's been very nice to me. He's always said, you're very nice in the chats, Team Rose. And, um, uh, Daisy was always nice to me. Davy was, Daisy was very supportive of, of me and my, um, you know, love of Ernie. And she was never mean about Ernie to me. Actually, neither was White Rabbit, but White Rabbit was really nice to me about Ernie too. But, um, yeah, well, she didn't let him up there. Now, they could become friends again. Ernie seems to make up with everybody. I'm I'm much more hardcore. He, I see all these people making friends that had fought. I mean, I thought Betty was pretty tough on Lisa, pretty mean to her, and pretty, pretty... I did not like the way she was telling Lisa how she felt, but now they've made up? Wow. Betty makes up with people that she bashes. She bashes people, and then she makes up with people. It's really interesting. How does she do it? How do you do it, Betty? How do you make up with all these people? I mean, maybe I'm not as forgiving as other people. 
Maybe other people are more forgiving than me. Probably. I'm, maybe I'm maybe I'm too judgmental. Am I too judgmental? I don't know, am I? What do you mean? Maybe I'm too judgmental. I like a person with values. I like a person with integrity. I do. I care about that. I I I have integrity. I want a I want a partner who who has integrity. I care about that. It's not just how they treat me. Because one time, I don't know, maybe I'm too judgmental, but I mean, I remember when I was growing up, uh, there was this woman, there was this friend of my sister's that was there, this older, uh, she was like, you know, older than me and my younger sister. Is my older sister seven years older than me and then obviously like eight and a half years older than my younger sister. So she was in all, she was at, like in college and me and my younger sister were younger, whatever. Anyway... I remember we had this conversation. I remember thinking I didn't really like the, the person, the woman, the girl, for some reason. And my sister said, oh, I don't care about that. I just like, I just, don't, I just care about if she's nice to me. If she's nice to me, then I like her. So maybe she, the woman had been nice to her. I don't know. And maybe I hadn't had my own personal experience with this woman that made me feel like bonded to her. Maybe my sister did. I don't know. I tended to be a little more of the lone wolf type. I didn't bond with people like that. Um... I've always been a little bit apart in a lot of ways. Um, I, I've always been kind of more of an observer for some reason. I'm very, I don't just jump into things with people. I do engage with people uh, in a friendly, sociable way, like on a, I just, unless I'm just chatting with you at the party type thing. And anytime I have a, a little engagement like that, any, a small, like, Thing where you just say hi on a very superficial level and it's, a, it's an acquaintance type thing. You get to know somebody, you just introduce yourselves. I like to have an, an, a meaningful exchange about something every single time because I like to make every moment count in a way. I, I like to, I like to um, try to make, a, I'm here on a mission. I'm not here to just sit around. And the mission is communicate with other people, other human beings a message and a frequency. I'm here to share a frequency with you. I'm here to vibrate at a certain frequency and put that frequency into the earth and around the earth. And I'm here to receive information from outer in the ga galaxy and ground that information onto earth and share that frequency. And I'm strong enough to come in and do it, but it's, it's very risky because you can get sucked in to the addiction of the way the matrix functions and all its things that addict you, cigarettes, soda, diets, Pepsi, um, alcohol, drugs, you know, coffee's okay to be addicted to, coffee and chocolate you're allowed to. Um, I miss having my old chocolate business in a way. It's a lot of work, so much work, oh my God. Ah, so much labor. That was the thing. It was like repeating the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And, you know, oh, my God. Then teaching new people. It was like, oh, I have to teach the same thing over and over and over again. And I get bored doing the same thing over and over. I'm not designed to do the same thing over and over again. I'm designed. I'm a creative person. I'm a creator. I have to be creating. I can't just be the factory, even though, but I was, I, I did everything. Now, the only way to pull that off for me is to do one batch a day that's really expensive and super high-end and very unique and whatever, has my magical powers in it, puts my magical touch in it, you know. I should probably squirt some magical breast milk in it. People are afraid of breast milk. That's the best stuff in the world, idiots. God, people have been cut off from the real thing. It's so sad. It makes me sad. Makes me very sad. Oh, God. Hope that tiger's all right. What are those women doing? And they're up there dancing, trying to bring in money. They're doing cash app. I couldn't believe it. That is the last thing I want to do. I don't want to do that. Am I going to do that? I don't want to do that. Throw up my cash app and my PayPal. Oh, my God. And beg people to give me money? Oh, my God. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to do that on YouTube. I don't want to do that. I don't have to do that. I don't want to be there to beg for money. I was like, when they said, oh, when they said, oh, we're here for money, I was like, oh. 
And then I heard that Avery Shannon, which is not her real name, wanted to raise $10,000 to go to take her son on a vacation. And then she do then she bashes Dolly for making money. Everybody's out there trying to make money. I guess you can I can see how for some people, but I mean I mean, with Jimmy, at the time, back then, he was the first person I joined. It kind of worked because the way he the way he did it, the way he made it fun, um, he was begging. He was e-begging. And then it was like, okay, he's e-begging. And it's not really cool after a while. You're like, all right, why are you e-begging? It's like, why are people throwing money at you? I was like, well, he's entertaining. He's up at night, whatever. He doesn't want to do his stupid day job. He just wants to be a YouTuber. I'd love, and at the time I was like, yeah, I'd love it if he was on all the time because I need him because I was looking for, I had no one. I felt that I had no one because my mother had died. She was, he was gone, really. And I couldn't even access my videos of her because Barbara Marciniak's guy and I had an email argument, I guess, and he struck all these videos that I had using like a 15, 20 minute things of any, anything of her that I had of her because I was sharing some of her stuff. Also selling her, advertising her like a champ, like a pro, giving her free advertising that she, of course she couldn't see it that way. She had to see it like, you're stealing from me. Your stupid limited view. Hypocrite, hypocritical view in my opinion. Yeah, my mother's life and my life with my mother had been taken down. This is Earth. Earth is pretty interesting. Look, you can you, you I mean, this is pretty interesting stuff. You get these big thick green leaves, right? This is all from one seed, guys. One seed, and you get these crazy stems. These actually absorb water from the from the atmosphere. They reach out and they do these weird things. See, the human body, I said, that's what I said to Ernie. And everybody wants him to drink this water that tastes bad and makes them feel worse. No, if it makes them feel worse, you listen to that information. If you're a good doctor and not an idiot, you listen to the information. The information was, this water tastes bad and is making me feel worse. Stop drinking it. There's other ways to, to, to moisturize yourself. You're human. For Christ's sake, you got magic powers. You don't believe it? You're human. You heal. Do you believe that you have self-healing properties? Do you even believe in that? Do you think that you can ever heal anything on your own without a bunch of drugs or a doctor or going to the hospital? Did you ever consider the fact that your human body might actually heal itself like a boss if you just fucking let it? Have you ever seen an animal heal itself? Oh my God. Get worked up much? Yeah, I'm worked up. Jesus, God Almighty, your body self heals. <sighs> Shit. I wanted him to rinse his mouth of that bad tasting water. Apparently, he was only listening to me. I didn't even know that. I couldn't even tell who he was listening to. I just wanted him to get the bad tasting poisoned water out of his mouth because I was fucking terrified that he was, I was fucking terrified that he was going to die in front of us all with a fucking bad water. And I'm still dealing with these idiots who think it was, he should continue to drink something that doesn't taste good and it's making him feel worse. Have you ever learned anything? Do you think? Do you think if, if it tastes bad and it makes you feel worse, you could she should keep doing it? If so, you're stupid, okay? Get your brain on straight. You really think he should continue drinking something that makes him feel worse than he got from a bunch of cops? Really? Did you bother to tell him to read the ingredients? Oh, you don't think that's important? That's because you're stupid. Okay, get a brain in your head or just shut it. Now, Lisa and has uh, mods that block me. Okay, 
She was being rude to Why don't you mind your own fucking business? Have any of you ever occurred? Does it ever occur to anybody to mind your own business? You, you just destroyed her channel. Do you know that Lisa thought Betty was going to destroy Ernie's channel? And now they're over there dancing together and Ernie has no channel. So who killed his channel? She said, yeah, Betty's going to kill. Well, Betty's going to kill your channel. Or who's going to, your mods are going to kill your channel. You, you, you're asking for money, but you're timing people out like me. You really think I'm the enemy of Lisa? Oh, it was about me and a mod, one of your mod friends. Do you know each other? Do you have coffee together? What do you have against me? I told I told Ernie that if the water doesn't taste good, don't drink it. Don't drink it. Rinse your mouth out of that shit. If it, if you feel, I thought we were gonna watch him die in front of us. If he kept drinking that fucking water, man. People thought he was only listening to me. I didn't even know that. I I I, I didn't think so. I had I ended up. Oh my god! I wasn't even there for the whole thing. I missed the whole thing where he got tased. I didn't see that till later. He was just lost, walking along the highway, completely lost, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to do, not knowing where he is, not knowing where to go, terrified of his brother, which he will always be. Something happens in these cars. Apparently, Nicolina has control over it. I don't know what it is. She's admitted it. I heard that again from somebody else. Keep hearing it. You know... It is kind of about the person. I mean, it is kind of. I mean, I, you know, when I met Jimmy, it was Jimmy. It was about Jimmy. The chat was extra. I don't know who these people are. I didn't know who Mo was for a long time. Avery was trying to have her own show, so you knew who she was. You know, calling with her, constantly call, calling with her quivering voice. Mo never called until much later. And when he started doing StreamYard, and she would never get up there. She would just order him around, and then oh, then she finally got up there. But, oh, my God, these women who control everything, it's really like, wow. So Lisa's show is going to totally change. And uh, Betty has her own show. Betty has her own following, and Betty's been doing her thing for a, a while. And, you know, Lisa's new to it. How did they make up? How did they make up? How did they make up? I really want to know the story. Because Betty was pretty mean to Lisa, but and Lisa was pissed. But now they've made up. How did they make up? Did did Betty apologize to Lisa? She said she did, but then she yelled at her again publicly while Ernie sat there and watched. And I was like, what the hell? And and Lisa was literally trying to get along with Betty. So did Lisa go out of her way to try to make friends with Betty and then Betty felt bad, bad. they finally made because, I, what? I would be in there chatting with them, but you're not allowed to. I can't express myself in there. That's why I make my own videos. I, re I react on my, at my house in the privacy of my own home or wherever Airbnb I'm staying. You know, I make my own videos in response to everything. This is how I saved the relationship with Jimmy. I made my own videos and he actually likes my videos. He's always liked my videos. He thinks I'm funny. That woman entertains me is what he said. And Mo couldn't stand it, and Patsy couldn't stand it, and they came down on hard on him to get rid of me. And he was like, she made this video for me. This is my message. And But Mo was so tough and throwing so much money at him and throwing all these compliments at him, just trying to drown out any connection with me. And he was just like so bowled over. And then these other women just turning, she's crazy, she's crazy. He likes crazy, you stupid bitches. He likes crazy. We're both crazy. We're all crazy. And a crazy little family. And then he's like, he got he got rid of half of those people. Or all those people. I don't know. I don't know. But there's all these people who love me. Sometimes I'll say one thing they don't like. I don't know why it is so strange that when a man says the water doesn't taste good, it's making it worse. When a man gives you this information, you fucking listen. 
You listen to the man's reaction to the water, quote unquote. Okay? A guy like him is constantly, potentially, they're trying to kill him. He said that. He thinks his wife's family's trying to kill him. Okay, that came out. He's a target, guys. He has to watch everything he eats and drinks. Coming from a cop, you better watch your step. I'm, a, I'm terrified for him. They could poison him anytime. What's he going to do? He's got some issues. He's a targeted individual. The, the, all the, assassinate, the assassins are the secret, assa uh, secret assassins. And then you've got Tina, who thinks that she, 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 practically, she almost doesn't like anybody. <laughs> Except for her and Xander. But whatever happened there, I don't know. He doesn't have anybody... What? I don't know. I I honestly wish he trusts it. He whatever you know. He I think he trusts Xander. Guys have a different kind of relationship with each other than a guy and a woman, man and a woman are different. You know. And uh, if anybody was gonna be, and if anybody was gonna, I think, you know, definitely be someone that. Um, Ernie could trust who would pick him up in a car and Ernie would get in the car would be Xander, you know, and, uh, probably Tina too. He knows Tina's on his side deep down. She just gets, she just doesn't like people that she thinks aren't, are, that are fake. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Then you've got Lisa furious with Tiffany. Really pissed at her. Are they going to be friends now? And what I don't understand is, move on from the wall. Why keep attacking me about this water incident when, honestly, I was listening to him. If he said the water tasted good and he was glad to have it, then I'd go with that. But that's not what he said. And I didn't want to watch my guy to be, be, to, to get sicker and sicker and sicker in front of us all. If the water doesn't taste good, it's making it worse. Worse means worse. Blocked means blocked. Worse means worse, not better, Okay. Jesus Christ, what kind of doctor doesn't listen to how the patient is feeling? A sicko, a sicko snotsy doctor is what kind of doctor, fake fucking doctor, doesn't listen to the information of the patient, okay? You better watch everything you drink. You know, I've been poisoned twice. I was sick all fucking night. It's a miracle I didn't die both times. Both times, the people who poisoned me were shocked that I survived. Shocked. Rinse your mouth. I said, you got to spit that out. Because I, he wasn't, it was making him worse. Is this information you're too stupid to pay attention to? What's wrong with you? Pay attention to the information. So who are these people? I don't trust anybody. Everybody's fighting and then they go back together and then they fight again and then they go back together. I was like, I... Lisa was a mod. She that she was Channing and then she was Lisa Marie or I don't know who. And then, and then she was, I don't know. And then now she's the nose nose. Then she's, and then she was not a mod. And then she was a mod for years secretly. Then she was not a mod. And then, but, but she, then he went to live with her for a month. Then, then, then they had, some kind of falling out, but then they're back to being friends. Her daughters didn't want her having anything to do with him, but but now apparently it's okay. Every timeline, I keep shifting. It's all different. Where's Ernie? He's not even in this timeline right now. He's locked away. People are talking about him. He doesn't, there's no videos. 
You know, what's he doing? What's he doing? Somebody said something about him coming back as a totally new person. Oh, what does that mean? New clone? A new clone? You know? I mean, I don't fit in. I, 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 I like Dolly. And then I liked the people in the chat who had a brain in their head and understood. You, you know, I'll put, I'll put a little feeler out there. See if there's any intelligent life. Say something that's like truthful, and see if they respond. And if they, if you'll get, I get a lot. I'll get a lot of people. You know, you're right, Team Rose. I feel the same way, Team Rose. Yes, Team Rose, you're exactly right. Hundred percent, Team Rose. I get a lot of responses like that to things that I say in both chats. I don't have time for more than two chats. Now without Ernie, I was over there at Lisa's chat. Then the stand, I'm not a paid member, so um, I don't know who my enemies are in there, but I'm sure I have some. Because I'm the only person who doesn't want to throw the cops at him. I'm the only person who wants him to w watch what he drinks and eats. I'm not the only one. I know that there's intelligent people out there. The, the, the bashing I get. And then Lil Dave is out is defending me. Thank you, and Savannah too. I just don't because I, because I because he said the water doesn't taste good. If he said it tasted good, if he said thank God I have this water, I'd say yes, good. Thank God, drink the damn water. That's what I'd say with everybody else. That's not what he said. That's what he said. Okay, that's what I went by, and apparently. He saw some intelligent life in his chat and he went with it. That's what I was told. I didn't know who, who he was listening to. And no one ever listens to me. What, are you kidding me? Oh, he was only listening to me? Oh, that's, well, that's for a change. Usually I get timed out or I, he doesn't, well, I mean, he listens to me. You know, I know he listens to me. But, you know, I mean... So crazy. Oh my God. So crazy. I think, I believe there's been contracts and agreements made that people are beholden to. And, you know, oh boy. I've heard some pretty bad, scary stuff about some contracts some people have made. That um, have pretty bad repercussions if they didn't fulfill the contract. Um, uh, pretty bad repercussions. Yeah, I wanted him to rinse his mouth, chew on a grass blade. This was the big, the big, the big crime was chew on a on a grass blade. Well, my dad chewed on a grass blade, and so did. My grandpa, I think. You know, the end of a grass blade. It has chlorophyll in it. And this this is a crime? You know, it just makes me think, well, you guys are idiots. If you think this is a crime, oh, so bad. To get your water from a grass blade instead of the fucking thing that didn't taste good? You know, you don't listen to this. Don't be, then don't be a doctor or a nurse if this is what you, you know, come on. Even Lisa was like, find a creek. I said, find a creek. That's the other thing I said. I said, you're a tiger. Look for water. Be a tiger. Oh, God. What's wrong with that? He's out there trying to survive. You know, he's a tiger. Be a tiger. He knows how to be an, an animal. You know, oh, that's so bad. Wow. Wow, I'm so mean. What the hell? God. It's just so ridiculous, you know? It's, it's just like, ah, uh, So ridiculous. Why? Why are people so fucking annoying? Why, why do you, if you don't like me, why do you pay so much attention to me? I just ignore people I don't like. I don't go around picking fights with people. 
I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. So, you know what my brother used to say when my, uh, my brother who died? He said, when you don't know anything, it's a good place to start. It's a good place to be cause, because it's like, then you can only go up from there. If you know nothing, then you have everything to learn. So it can only get more informative, you know? And it was an interesting point of view. Um, yeah. He had a lot of wisdom and, and intelligence and past lives and things. All right, I'll be back. Love you.